Hey everybody, Harko here, back with another uh, free-for-all ranked 5 Iron Rumble game. This is game number 14, I believe, in the series. Finally catch a bit of a break between all the tournament games. And the map we random today is Trigon's Labyrinth. And we are in the third position, which is not ideal, of course. And pink in the fourth position gets a really strong bonus hole with those stable portals. These are the settings for today's speed blitz for a five round rumble game here. And it is true random, of course. Uh, first player is Cyclo46. Then we have an expert bot ourselves then general the snake one five three nine six in the fourth position and semi agrawal in the final position okay black bot is gonna be going for that bonus there very interesting fortify we may want to get out of the center as well actually We don't really have a bonus play. And maybe we do later on. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh, one of these games. I'll lower this. We'll fortify that out. I'm not sure why the hitbox detection can get wonky. Alright. Unsurprisingly, pink takes their bonus. very weakly threatens that bonus so going into this game we are at just under 12,000 points I believe as an expert we are not looking good position wise here so we'll see how this one plays out Okay, green player seems to not be here, which will be good if they remain AFK. Interesting. So that's a big buffer zone on a lot of the map. Red gonna go for that middle bonus soon. Get some good dice. Black Black gets four. They add in the center because their four on the left was blocked. This appears to be a stacker bot. Hmm. And in this case, we're gonna want the stacker bot to move through us after it hits the white two. Hmm. 
Very unfortunate that it attacked that way instead of onto the portal. We'll make the portal a two. Take our card here, and we'll try to attempt <laughs> to steer the bot away. Hopefully it can... Head on over beside pink or something. Alright, let's see. White bot. Interesting choice there. Uh, how are we doing for cards? No cards yet. Green player is still AFK. So red is going to have a tough time getting to their last spot in their bonus. They do trade. They're going to blast through the green four. This might divert the stacker bot away from us again. If it decides to head to the right this time. That could be helpful. Uh, neat looking fortify there. Oh, Stackerpod does trade. Which direction do they go? Away from us. Excellent. Do they break? They do not. But. Where does their pathing take them? Down? Do they break the one down there? No, they're going to bury themselves in the corner. Where do they fortify? Hopefully, oh, onto the portal. They're going to be attacking the portal. Interesting. And we're going to try the 7 on 2 here. Does succeed. And we'll guard our bonus. If our bonus gets broken by either pink or the stacker bot, that's probably likely and or unfortunate. These are the bonuses on this map. You haven't seen it before. Lots of sixes and sevens in the center and off to the sides. Eight and nine of the giant triangles. And then the two small triangles of the usual quote unquote Australias of the map that people like to fight for. Pink is taking a while for their turn. They are also leaving the game. That will help us a bunch. Green is still offline. Pink is offline. So they are currently botted out at uh, 10 territories. Red is still here. Our only human opponent remaining goes before us in the turn order. That does help things. We'll have to keep an eye on pink to see if they return at all. Very surprised people are botting out of a game that only lasts five rounds. 
perhaps they do not realize this. Either way, this stacker bot Okay, red does not appear to be breaking us. Okay, the red bot breaks the white bot's bonus. White bot has a few territories backed out in corners. All right, here we go, a moment of truth. Do we get broken here? Yes, we do. The stacker bot does leave. Do we have cards? We do have cards. Ah, very convenient, plus two as well. Uh, pink is still offline. We won't antagonize red since they don't seem to be focusing on us. Do that. Okay, green officially goes MIA. So they won't be adding on their turn. Pink is still offline. So we'll see. Now, of all things being equal, it was objectively correct for me to slam into red there. But the way they've been playing, they don't appear to be antagonizing us. So we're banking on the fact that they'll ignore us for this last turn. That is tricky about this mode is that while the objective play is there, this mode is very underplayed. So counting on the fact that people aren't quite familiar with this mode is weirdly a part of this mode at the moment. All right, yep, red only hits two of our territories. And that is fine. Pink is still offline. Excellent. Okay, red tries the two on one up there. That doesn't matter. Stock bot is going to lower red's territory count a bit. Doesn't break. That also doesn't matter. We get 11 troops. Pink is still offline. White has a stack on a portal that we're going to want to get rid of. Just in case it decides to slam into us. Now we're gonna hit some territories around here.
starts to hit a lot. Up to 31. And pink, thankfully, is still off Lion. And so the white bot is going to set in. Might hit two of our territories over here. But we will have enough to claim the overall victory. Ended up winning a lot of 2v1s in the end there, which is nice. <laughs> Did we get double broken? Ah, only single broken. Alright, that'll be the game. Good old five round rumble. Earning 580 battle points for that one. GG's to our opponents, mainly to red for actually sticking around for the whole game. Uh, they were an expert and two beginners. So we went from 11,900 something up to 12,981 as a speed blitz expert, <laughs> so to speak. But all right, GG's once again. And until next time, everybody, take care and cheers for stopping by.